I would uh, now like to introduce our MC. Carrie Bechet is a theater, film, and television actor. She can currently be seen on AMC's Halting Catch Fire, in which she plays Donna Clark, a computer technology pioneer in the 1980s. Carrie is a science enthusiast and passionate advocate for science and culture. Please welcome Carrie Bechet. All right, welcome. First up, we have Andrea Levant. Andrea, you want to come out? Andrea is a blogger, advocate, and innovator who believes in the power and freedom that self-expression brings. She is wearing jeans by ABL Denim. Andrea? Fashion is my passion. And inclusive designs like ABL Denim provide ease of comfort without compromising my style. ABL Denim is a company that makes fashionable clothing with technology that combines functional features and a special fit that is easier to put on and take off, more comfortable to wear, soothes anxiety, and looks like clothing that everyone else wears. This is Peregrine. Peregrine works with the global enable community designers and developers to improve the strength and utility of open source mechanical assistive devices. Peregrine? I wear this hand because I designed it, I made it, and it's me. Peregrine regularly works with medical professionals, schools, government agencies, private companies, and other designers to meet the needs of people who can benefit from advances in open source assistive design. This is Oliver. Oliver is wearing an outfit from the Runway of Dreams partnership with Tommy Hilfiger to create the inaugural adaptive collection of the brand's iconic children's line. Ollie. What I love about Runway of Dreams is that it makes me feel so independent and happy about myself. Yeah. Runway of Dreams is an organization that works with the fashion industry to bring mainstream clothing options to the disability community. Johnny Matheny is a pioneer in upper extremity prosthetics and has seen his amputation as an opportunity to help others with upper extremity loss. Johnny? I'm the first mind-controlled osteograded prosthetic done in the United States. The Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory is leading an interdisciplinary team consisting of other Johns Hopkins institutions, government agencies, universities, and industry to implement DARPA's vision of providing <laughs> the most advanced upper extremity prosthesis. Sarah Fernandez is most passionate about teaching others about life as a little person and ensuring that children and young adults with dwarfism have the resources they need to lead a fulfilling and successful life, including clothes that highlight their style. Sarah? Inclusive de design to me means that finally there are clothes that accentuate my um, unique body type and are also chic and feminine. As an attorney, it's even more important to me because it gives me that extra boost of confidence and oomph. So when I walk into the room, people know I mean business. Sarah is wearing a dress from Kathy D. Wood's collection, a collection created to provide ready-to-wear clothing designed for little people. J.P. Lane was deployed to Afghanistan in 2010 to 2011 with the U.S. Army. While on a mission, an IED penetrated his armored vehicle. J.P.? By literally getting back on my feet, again, these prosthetics have helped me save my life and continue doing what I love doing.
With intense physical training, hard work, and dedication to never give up, JP has been able to overcome obstacles never even thought of by doctors. JP is becoming what he has always wanted to be, a pop rock artist. A former high school class president and current college freshman, Jake April is dressed to impress in a PVH Magna Click shirt. I am proud to be modeling a clothing line that is fashionable, but most importantly, ensures the differently abled as or as independent as possible. To the unknowing eye, a Magna Ready shirt looks like any other dress shirt. The same collar and cuffs and the same row of white buttons down the front. But within each shirt are powerful magnets that link together for a secure closure, eliminating the need for struggling with buttons. Tilly Summer Lockie is an ambassador and spokesperson for Meningitis Help and Meningitis Research Charities and continues to raise awareness of the illness. Tilly? I'm working with Open Binex to make superhero arms for people like me and make them feel like superheroes. Tilly has worked alongside Open Bionics, a prosthetics company, to help with the research and design development of children's bionic hands. Tilly aspires to one day model high-tech bionic hands as a fashion statement, hopefully giving other disabled children the inspiration and confidence to try it too. Grace Mosier is a smart and curious 15-year-old with a passion for music, theater, and technology. Grace? I'm here because I want to help spread the word to other people with scoliosis that there is new brace technology that can help them feel so much more comf com comfortable and confident wearing a brace like it did for me. Grace is one of the first people to pilot the Unique Align, which combines a patented 3D printed scoliosis brace with embedded wearable technology designed by Studio Batanti for Unique. The embedded Intel Curie module is helping Grace reach her treatment goals with real-time data. Retired U.S. Marine Corps Sergeant Kyle Garcia is wearing an example of unique performance personalized prosthetic covers that empower amputees to express themselves in a creative way. Kyle? I like my unique cover because it shifts the conversation from disability to design. Since retiring from the U.S. Marines, Kyle has pursued his education, receiving a Bachelor of Science from San Francisco State University in Accounting and Finance, and plans to enter law school next year. Cheryl Kintop is the inspiration for the Cheryl Jean, a Downs Designs Dreams line of blue jeans for people with Down syndrome. Cheryl? I love the games, I like the fat. Cheryl, 41, graduated from Mentor High School and plays basketball, floor hockey, bowls, and goes to jazzercise. All Downs Designs jeans have no buttons, zippers, or tags, a full elastic waistband, belt loops, mock fly, and the denim is soft and stretchy. <laughs> Mama Cax was born in Brooklyn and was raised in Montreal and Haiti. At the age of 14, she was diagnosed with bone and lung cancer and given three weeks to live. Inclusive design means being, inclusive design, sorry. Inclusive design means being socially inclusive. Sorry about that. That's great. 
<laughs> Mama Cax beat the odds with an experimental drug and luck. All Lels has designed a new line of prosthetic accessories that are affordable, interchangeable, accessible online, and fashion forward. Inclusive design to me means being integrated in society so people like me can contribute to society. Thank you. Eliza Murray worked with Open Style Lab to design and develop a shirt that was sensory friendly, durable, and still stylish. Eliza? I'm Eliza's mom. Eliza's 11 with autism and she's nonverbal. So I think I'm speaking on her behalf. What motivated us to come here was that she could. It's the first shirt in three years that she can't rip and take off. Um, so we were able to come today and participate, but we want to say thank you to the incredible team who designed the shirt for her that is not only seamless, show them the sides, but it's also amazingly um, threadless. So she's, there's no more picking. She's not happy about it. <laughs> Can you say thank you? Okay. Open Style Labs 10-week summer program teams students and young professionals from design, engineering, and occupational therapy or physical therapy fields to design, prototype, and test clothing solutions with a client with a disability. Jillian Mercado is one of the fashion industry's most sought after it girls. She also happens to be one of the most recognizable models with muscular dystrophy. Jillian? Hi everyone, I had the amazing opportunity to empower and change the fashion industry for the better. Jillian takes pride in representing women who don't typically see themselves in aspirational advertising campaigns and magazines. To date, Mercado has starred in campaigns for Nordstrom and Target, and in editorial features in the September issues of Glamour and Cosmopolitan magazines. And now we're going to bring everybody out to take one last look. If we can give everybody a round of applause as they come out.